Figma Mac isn't just another AI tool. It is a design rethink machine. In this video, I will show how to use Figma Mac to generate elegant UX solutions, explore different visual designs, and even convert a hand-drawn sketch into a real working interface. No plugin, no extra tools. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, today I want to show you how you can use Figma Mac as a co-designer. So instead of Figma Mac create for you a website or an application, we will use the AI capabilities to create for us different designs for the same concept. I will share three ways to do it. First of all, we give to Figma Mac a prompt. It's create for us an interface and then we ask it to create part of the interface in different ways. Then we will ask Figma Mac to create a design with different design styles. And then I will show you how you can take sketch you did on your iPad and convert it into an interface. So you draw the interface by hand and Figma Mac convert it to a real interface. Let's start with the prompt. This is the prompt. Create this desktop app, AI prompt library. With the AI prompt library desktop app, user can, and here I explain what the user will be able to do with this application. For example, user will be able to add new prompts to the library, search for prompts using a search bar, filter prompts by category to keep things organized and more stuff. Then I click on execute and waiting to see the interface. So let's execute and now Figma made create the interface for us. Okay, it's finished to create the application. You can see here we have left menu bar and also you can see here the prompt and also here there is a place to mark the prompt as a favorite. Also, I can copy from here and I see it did a very good job and it's follow my instruction. The next thing that I want to do and here is the magic to say to Figma make take this all prompt section and give me five different ways to design these sections. So now it looks like a card, but basically maybe it's better to do it in a table. I don't know. I want to investigate. So I can sketch by hand, but because Figma make has a lot of information because the AR models it has, I can ask it this simple prompt. Okay, amazing. Now I want you to take the all prompt section and create five different design ideas for it at the top of the page add button so I can switch between your different solutions. Let's copy this one. I paste it here. Let's execute. And basically in the meantime it's execute take a look on this line that i write to figma make at the top of the page add button so i can switch between your different solutions what i said now to figma make hey i want five different options but how i can switch between them i can say figma make add them one below the other but i find a better way to do it by asking figma make to add buttons so i can navigate between the different options and that's because in that moment i don't care about the visual design i just care about different solutions for an idea i have let's back one moment to figma okay amazing it's finished the work you can see here it's add this selector so i can click on grid we have also a list if i click on a table we have it in a table and we have the masonry option i click here and the kanban option you can see it here. Basically not all of them fit for me, but you can see the difference between all of them. So in a case you work on a project and you want to see different directions, you can do exactly that. Ask Figma Make to give you different ideas for the interface. I think for my case, grid will be the best options. And that's because basically I will able to add also prompts for visuals. So a part of the title and the text, I will able to add the image inside. So I will able to understand the connection between the prompt and the image. Now, in a case you're not happy with the result, you can add this prompt. Let's paste it here. Okay, amazing. Now add five more options, add them to the five options you created. At the end, I will have 10 options and then execute. And now it will create for us five more options. Okay, it's finished the work. It's add five more options. Let's take a look on them. It's add this one timeline. You can see it here. I don't think it's fit for this case, but okay, we have an options. We have also compact. You can see it here. Detail with more details. We have carousel. You can see it here. I don't think it's fit, but okay, this is what Figma make made for us. And we have the split one. You can see it here. And that's the idea. I actually think it's good because basically you can navigate between the different prompts and not see only small information about that. If I click on the card, I can see the full information here and that's make it more easy to navigate. So I think in that case, maybe carousel will be the best options here. Of course, it's necessary to take in account more things here because basically we divide 
the interface to three and sometimes it's not comfortable but basically it's a great idea that sometimes for me as a designer it can take time to create but here with figma make we just created in one minute so it's actually interesting way to find solution for your design now the next thing that i want to do is to take figma make to discover different design styles let's take a look on the prompt i created you can see the prompt here okay now i want to see five different visual designs they must be different from each other at the top of the page add button so i can switch between your different visual designs do not eliminate anything from the interface just add five visual options i copy the prompt paste it here on figma make let's execute and now let's wait that figma make will create for us the solutions it's finished the work let's see the result we have the default one the minimalist one so here it's only change of color the professional one you can see here it's dark mode we have a problem with accessibility but basically it is easy to fix if you like this style let's take a look on creative you can see it here retro tech here we have a different design style again we have a problem with accessibility but we can fix it but you can see here that this is very different design style and if i click on elegant we have this design style that from my point of view it's look like claude but okay we have this one but a part of that if you want to be more specific it is possible so for example let's take a look on another prompt this is the prompt okay amazing now add five options more here add them to the five options you created at the end i will have 10 visual options you must add these design styles and here below i expand the exact design styles i want figma make will add for example no morphism glass morphism illustrated style brutalist style and retro vintage style i copy this prompt let's paste it in figma make execute and now let's wait that figma make will create five more styles it's finished the work we have five more design styles we have the neomorphism you can see it here it's very noted on the search bar if i click on glass morphism you can see here the glass effect we have on the cards if i click on illustrated you can see here the visual design that basically it's very notable because of the typography it's used the brutalist you can see here that it's very notable that it's brutalist with the very sharp edges the black and white and if i click on vintage we have something that look vintage very close to the elegant one to this one you see that we created different styles very easy now to make it more precise of course you need to take it to figma and work on it in details but when you work on the first application you have a new client very easily you can show to the client different directions for the application design style the last thing that i want to show is how you can take a prompt and a sketch you created on your ipad and convert it to an interface very easily so let's take a look one moment on the sketch i did on my ipad okay this is the sketch i did for the application we have the search user can change category add new prompt we have the list of the prompts the user can save and also to copy i will take a screenshot of this sketch let's open a new figma make file i click on the menu file new make now i paste the screenshot and i will add this prompt create this desktop app ai prompt library i explain what is inside this one and at the end i write make the design exactly as in my sketch i copy the prompt let paste it in figma make execute and now figma make will take the prompt and the sketch and build the interface based on my sketch so it's make all the process more easy instead of enter to figma and start to create all the screen by myself move the rectangles and that stuff i go to figma make paste my sketch the prompt and it will create for me the interface sometimes we need to do it again but basically most of the time it's work well now we have the result we have the search the category i can add new prompt from here we have the prompt cards and i can mark it as a favorite or copy the prompt and you can see how it was easy to take my idea and the sketch paste it in figma make and get the interface just remember that if you want you can connect also your design system and then figma make will create the screens based on your specific design system you can do it by mentioning your design system if you want to understand how to do it i will leave a link in the description below for a video where i explain how to connect the design system to figma make to create your design with your specific design system
Apart of that, of course, I can take this interface and play with the visual design as we saw before, but I think you understand the point in this video. You can use Figma Make not to create screens, but help you in the design process. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.